guys, my name is Katie. I'm the founder of Kokomo here in Vancouver. We have three locations, you may have heard of us. And really what we're all about is creating really healthy, colorful, beautiful food um, that really supports you in your day-to-day -day life. So today we're essentially gonna do that, but I am going off menu and I'm gonna cook and share something um, that really helps me in my day-to-day -day life. It's something that I cook at the beginning of each week and it can be used in a million different recipes. So what it is, is my smoky black bean recipe. It's super easy, just a few steps. You can have it for breakfast, you could throw it in tacos, nachos, um, quesadillas, anything you want. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Okay, so first things first, you obviously are black beans. So that's over there. Um, next thing is I'm gonna chop up some onions. You're also gonna get a few other things ready. You're gonna get some garlic, so you want two cloves of garlic. I also have chipotle, so this is something you may not have in your pantry, but definitely pick up. And then you can have apple cider vinegar on hand if you want, or you don't throw it in, it's up to you. Um, some salt and pepper, some olive oil, or avocado oil, or coconut oil, whatever you prefer to use. And then miso paste, this is really critical in making it really earthy. Again, you could use veg broth if you don't have any of this on hand, or even like tamari or soy sauce to create that like earth salt um, component. And then anything you have in your fridge or in your pantry is gonna be perfect for this. So I've just grabbed some leftover brown rice. I had like a half an avocado left. Um, I have a bit of cucumber I chopped up, cabbage I always keep on hand. So let's get started. We're gonna heat up our pan here. And once that's heated up, then we'll actually throw in a few glugs of oil and swish that around and then start uh, sweating out our onions. So I'm gonna throw this in, it's gonna... Is there any better smell than onion cooking? I don't think so. All right, so we're just gonna let that sweat for a little bit. Um, I would say like three to five minutes. I'm gonna throw my garlic in, so I have two cloves. Sometimes I go four if I'm feeling a little wild. We have two cloves, we're gonna throw that in and we're just gonna let all the aromas come out and that's when you're gonna know that it's essentially ready to go into the next step. And oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, garlic is smelling real nice. So we're gonna go ahead and Kind of do the bulk of the next step here. If you can believe it, we're actually like three quarters of the way through this recipe. Super easy. Okay, so next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in the black beans. So I have two cans there. They've been soaked and drained. So pop those in. And then we're gonna throw in, we're gonna go with two of these. You could go with one if you want it mild. You can go with half of one. You could probably just use some of the sauce. And now we're gonna throw in a bunch of water. So what you wanna do is basically pour in water um, to cover everything, and you wanna bring it to a boil. So give that a stir to really create an even layer. And you'll see that the water just lightly covers everything that I have in there. And I'm gonna turn up the heat to high to bring it to a boil. This is also a great time to add in some salt and pepper, any other spices you want. So if you have smoked paprika, cumin, anything else you wanna add, you can throw it in at this point. So we add about a teaspoon or two of salt. There's gonna be salt that comes in through the miso as well. And then pepper just to balance it out. Let it boil. Another tip is you could use this time to make a margarita because you're gonna definitely want one when this is finished. So now that we have a boil, what we're gonna do is actually turn down the heat a little bit and we're just gonna allow it to simmer to allow the beans to just like soak up all that tasty liquid. We're gonna add in a bit of um, miso paste. So you can use about one teaspoon. Again, if you don't have miso paste in hand, on hand, that's totally fine. Maybe throw in some soy sauce or some tamari. Um, if you've used veg broth, you'll probably still get some of that earthy salt as well. So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon here. So I'm just gonna stir it around here to give it a little bit of help. Okay guys, big news. We love where our water line is at. So basically no water is above any of the beans. This is perfect. If you want them more runny, just keep more water in there. If you want it super dry and like almost like refried bean style, then get rid of all the water. Next up is we're actually gonna take about half of it and throw it into the blender. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add half of it, or you could do a quarter, you could do whatever you want. Like I said, make up your own rolls. I definitely have. Um, so add a little bit of it, get like a big spoon, or I use a measuring cup and, but it's not because I'm measuring it, I'm literally just throwing it all in. Throw it into your blender. Make sure you get those chipotles in because you do not want a whole chipotle in your beans. Okay, so I have half of my bean mixture in my Vitamix. 
I'm gonna get my lid on, there she is. What I would say with this one is you don't just wanna turn it on, you wanna like kinda just give it some pulses. Okay, here we go. We love this texture, so it's kinda like a bean dip. Okay, boom, that'll do. So now you're gonna incorporate everything, mix it all around. Okay, we're loving this, this looks so good. All right. Time to make our bowls. And here we go. Everyone's different. So some people, this like to me, this is kind of like art. Like I love creating like a really beautiful bowl and taking photos of it and doing all those things. Grab yourself a healthy scoop of brown or any type of rice. I just cook this, it's super fresh. This is kind of how much we do at Kokomo. And then I'm gonna throw in some cabbage. So I have my base. I'm now gonna throw in my black beans from my mixture. Again. Build this however you want to build it. I'm so excited to see all of your creations. So I probably did like cup, half a cup. Okay, so we have one third of everything. Brown rice, cabbage, and our beans. So we have our cucumbers. I'm gonna throw some tomatoes in. Look at all these colors. I think that's my favorite part. You know what, I might do the avo next here. I'm gonna throw my pickled onions in here as well. You could throw in some salsa. I have Valentina. This is like what we have in our house 24 seven. Throw in some jalapenos. And then the final bit is a squeeze of lime. And you got yourself a bowl. So to recap, we made black beans in like 10 minutes, which is pretty remarkable if you ask me. All right, so I guess it's lunchtime. Mmm, that is so good. It's also spicy. Like, whoa. But oh, we're loving it. I actually think I should make this a special at Kokomo. It's really good. Speaking of Kokomo, um, we are open during this time and it has been such an interesting time actually to be a business owner. I'm sure so many people can relate to us right now. Um, it's been an actually really humbling to see how everyone's come together in like such a beautiful way. Whether you work in the restaurant industry or you're in retail or you're in content creation, like there's this real feeling of like all of us like in this together and we're supporting each other and we're sharing resources and I've never felt more like I've belonged to this community and I'm just like in awe of the humans that I get to surround myself around each day and it's been like such the silver lining i don't want to say that this is like an incredible experience because it hasn't been but i would say like when i do focus on the joy and the things that i'm grateful for like it's unbelievable all the things that are coming up for me one thing that's really helped me through this time is i really like to think about like what is that one thing that's going to bring me joy today and i've noticed that it's usually something around food or beverage so I'm sure a lot of you guys are like me as well. And maybe it used to be that you would eat out all the time and that you would look forward to like going out to your favorite restaurant. But I guess why I'm excited to share this recipe with you guys is that you can start to cook things at home and get excited for them as well. It's actually kind of meditative when you're just like in your kitchen alone, just like with your favorite playlist on and making your own food. And to create something like this and like so colorful and really feel like you're feeding your body, like to me, that is so much joy. If Cooking is definitely not your thing and you really don't feel like doing it or you just want to switch it up a bit. Kokomo is open through this. So we're open seven days a week, even on holidays. And we're open 11 till seven on the weekdays and 11 till six during the weekend. Um, all of our menu is available. You can order it on DoorDash for pickup or delivery. You can call ahead and you can pay over the phone or you can just pop in. We've created a whole new system to make sure that everyone is super safe, our employees and our guests and we feel actually a lot of pride in being able to support our community through this time. This is my gift to you and I really hope that you guys make it. Please tag me, tag Vessi in your photos. Thanks guys, this means the world to me.